Hello. I wanted to introduce everybody to a few of my problem solving devices that I keep here at the house in case any trouble comes up. The batarang, very sharp on both sides, good for throwing, or you could hold it this way, although probably it's not really very comfortable, but that would definitely make an impression. Tomahawk, standard. Yeah, I like it. Made in Pakistan, cheap, but definitely will do the trick. Ah, the handle on this one is uh, from the Civil War, from a Union dagger, but uh, it's been uh, put onto an, uh, to a cheap Pakistan blade. But like the other one, as the Romans say, four inches in the right place is a kill. Let's see. Oh, here's my two-hander. I like this because it's got uh, a steel handle, so none of this wooden handle breaking stuff. This has uh, served me well. I actually cut down a pine tree with this. Think what it could do to a person. And then there, I got this for like 20 bucks at um, some festival. It's uh, sharp as hell, but it's really weak and probably only good for like one strike, but in some cases, that's all you need. There we go. Keep these all by the bed, just because you never know what could happen. My Mjolnir. Made it myself. This is a 20-pounder. They do make 40-pounders, but those are just impossible to lift. And I'll tell you, this thing opens doors. It does. It's all wrapped in leather. The handle actually will hold it for swinging. I put one, two, three bolts through there to hold the strap and it will swing. And if you get it swinging, the impact it makes when you when it comes down is impressive. Keep that on my altar as a tribute to Thor. And here's my baby. Wicked. This is a reproduction of the swords used in 300. It is not an elegant or quick weapon. It is meant for chopping like a scimitar. I feel a great swell of pity for anyone who comes to this house looking for a fight. <laughs> 